In this video, let's spend a few minutes thinking about examples of economies of scale in the UK hotel sector. Now, the UK hotel sector is very competitive. It has some big players, the largest of which is Premier Inn. This chart shows the number of hotels that Premier Inn operates from 2012 all the way through to 2022. And you can see that despite a little bit of a blip in 2020-21, of course, due to the pandemic, there has been a substantial growth in the number of hotels this business operates, from 650 10 years ago to over 840 now. So clearly this is a business, and there are other hotel chains which are the same, which benefits from economies of scale. And here's my question. Give me three examples of economies of scale that larger hotel chains in the UK can benefit from. Now, this is perhaps a moment for you to pause the video and give yourself a minute to write down three examples. What would you choose as economies of scale in large hotel chains? The examples provide application, and application is super important in your exams. So have a go. So here we go. Three examples of economies of scale, internal economies of scale, that large hotel chains might be able to benefit from. What did you choose? Well, here are my answers. First of all, bulk purchasing. So big hotel chains, Travel Lodge, uh, Premier Inn, for example, they buy their supplies in bulk, linens, toiletries, food items for their restaurants. Now, that bulk purchasing is called monopsony power or buying power, and it means that they can negotiate lower prices and therefore achieve those unit cost savings that perhaps smaller boutique hotels, perhaps independent chains, can't quite achieve. So the likes of Travelodge and Premier Inn and Ibis have big bulk purchasing buying power. It's a good example to use. A second uh, economy of scale will be technology. I don't know, perhaps you're thinking here of the sort of comms of scale from uh, uh, from just the scale of big hotels. But if you think about other aspects, big hotel chains can invest in centralised reservation systems. Uh, they have centralised property management systems. Their IT infrastructure is essentially a fixed cost of running the business. But by standardising their technologies across multiple locations, don't forget Premier Inn has over 840 hotels, they can bring down their unit costs and improve productive efficiency. So some of those big costs of running the business itself are fixed. The more hotels you have, the unit cost uh, comes down. And also think about marketing and branding. So marketing is a fixed cost, branding is a fixed cost, and, and large hotel chains... They can leverage brand recognition, marketing budgets across multiple locations to drive demand. And of course, what their profits depend on is occupancy rates. The more people they can get staying in a hotel relative to capacity, the higher their profits will be. So consider Premier Inn's big TV advertising campaigns. You probably see them regularly on the television. That's a fixed cost. Therefore, if it's successful, the more people eventually come and stay at Premier Inn, the lower is the fixed cost per person, and therefore that's a, an economy of scale. So there we go. Those are my three chosen ones. Bulk purchasing, uh, leveraging technology across a big business, and spreading the costs of marketing and branding. Three economies of scale that large hotel chains in the UK can benefit from. Here's a quick reminder of the diagram. If, you, if you're achieving economies of scale, you're moving down the long run average cost curve for a business as output expands in the long run. Interestingly, with uh, these kind of businesses, I checked out what the average cost or the average price per night was from a selection of hotel chains in the UK. This was August 2022. So prices, I suppose, will be a little bit higher because it's the peak of the holiday season. But notice there, there's a big gap. Travelodge, on average, half the price of a Hilton. Uh, Premier Inn, pretty much half the price of a Radisson Blue or a Marriott Hotel. Now, clearly, uh, some of these hotels are appealing to a different demographic. But if we look at the likes of Travelodge and Premier Inn and Ibis Budget, yes, they are budget hotels. They are low price hotels for customers. But one of the reasons they can charge a low price per unit, if you like, per cost per night, is because they are achieving significant economies of scale. And therefore, this is a really good example of application, perhaps to use in your exams. Thanks for joining in. Stay safe, stay curious, stay happy. See you sometime soon.